Well, how do you do, buckaroos? This is Joe Layton of Cowboys and Indians magazine, and I'm happy today to introduce you to Jessica Matten, who plays a Navajo police sergeant at the forefront of solving a murder mystery in Dark Winds, the new AMC series based on the works of Tony Hillerman. Jessica, uh, the series is set in 1971, which doesn't seem like a long time ago until you realize, oh, wait, that's like a half century ago. Uh, how do you get yourself into a 1971 mindset? That is a great question. You know, I've, I've always been fascinated with our culture's history. So coincidence or not, uh, before I, I was even offered this role, I was doing a lot of research on the American Indian movement. And um, I just think, you mm -hmm. know, that that period in time is so rich, you know, the 60s and 70s. And really, I always reflect back of like, what was AIM truly about? It was it was about um, standing up for basic human right issues, um, you know, access to healthcare, access to education. And I, I was deeply um, doing my own personal research. And I actually put it out there when I was filming another show. And I just said, oh, I really would love to tell the story um, of, if not AIM, I would love to see natives in a contemporary, somewhat contemporary setting, but in the 70s. It's such a rich time. And lo and behold, the show came around and um, it was uh, incredible because the makeup artists, their inspiration and references were all AIM photos in the trailer. And I was like, no way, those are the exact same photos I was putting up in my trailer on my last show. Um, so I, I came into this already having a knowledge about what it must be like. And also just personally, I love anything from the 60s, 70s, the music scene. Like, let's be real, nothing's ever going to top that in terms of the music scene alone. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, what sort of physical regimen did you have to put yourself through? Because you, you know, you've done some rough and tumble stuff before, but, you know, here you are, you know, packing heat and chasing bad guys and, you know, uh, holding your own. Yeah, you know, so since I've, I've been, my mother was smart to get me involved in martial arts at a very young age. And, um, you know, I work extensively in the indigenous communities to this day. And I always tell the youth, you know, the, the discipline you set at a young age, it's going to carry you throughout your entire adult life as well. And that discipline has an incredible ripple effect. So I've been training my whole life, but I also, for the last 12 years in this business, I, I work out about five, six times a week. And I just always believe be ready, be ready for when that role comes around. And it's a lot of dedication and hard work. But, um, you know, I, I used to spar competitively in Donjuti Ryu, which was a, a Caribbean form of martial arts. And our instructor was trained by Bruce Lee's instructor. Um, so it was me and a bunch of men. And there's actually photos of me on the res too, even before those days, just training with a bunch of boys on the res too. And um, I, I really believe in a preparation and hard work. And so coming onto the show, um, I'm just kind of known that I do 99% of my own stunts on every single show. And I love it. I appreciate stunt artists so much. And uh, the stunt coordinator on this, he actually was one of the original Marlboro men in the ads. And he goes, Jessica, you know, you're going to have to do 99% of your own stunts. I was like, uh, yeah, for show. Sure. I was like, let's go. You know, and um, there's just, I would like to say, you know, um, you know, my my 16th grandfather was the first uh, Métis leader of Canada rebelling against the government. And there's actually paintings online of him at battle. So I just like to believe that I truly am. I don't like to believe. I believe it. I feel ancestral channels in me. And I just think that, you know, my my grandfathers are channeling me and my grandmothers. And um, that's what I that's what I bring to this character. This is what I'm bringing to the show. Well, again, this is 1971, and it would be, I think, unusual in any part of the world to have a woman in this particular type of position of authority uh, in law enforcement. Uh, did you come up with a backstory for your character, like how she put up with, you know, sexism along the way? Yeah, actually, you know, I find, I find to this day, uh, you know, as, as a woman and a woman of color, there's still a lot of obstacles, I'm not gonna lie. And it's not just this industry alone, I think it's any industry. And um, I just take what I've seen, what I know to be true from my own personal life, from 
from the indigenous women I've been surrounded by my entire life. And I've applied this to making Bernadette a really um, fleshed out character. So, you know, one big thing is, is I, Bernadette represents all the resilient indigenous women that I've been surrounded by my entire life. And so I really, I dedicate Bernadette to indigenous women and girls worldwide, because that's, you know, to this day, we uplift each other. And I, I draw a lot of my strength from that. We've been very generous with your time. Before I go, I, I have to ask the stargazer question. Uh, what is Sam McLaren really like? He's a doll. He's the biggest sweetheart ever. So don't let his, uh, his uh, scary stank face fool you. He's the biggest sweetheart on planet Earth. And uh, he's, he's so talented. And I think he's the greatest native actor of our time. And I'm, I couldn't be more thrilled and happy for him. Well, you have to uh, admit that his character must be sort of liberated for his time to have a woman, you know, working in that position and relying on her and trusting her on, in that position. Did you, yeah, two of you talk and, about that? Yeah, I, th I think, you know, the, the great thing about... Um, Tony and Anne Hillerman bringing this character Bernadette to life is the fact that there are tons of strong, resilient women that existed in the 70s. Just culturally, we don't give them that platform. And one thing I really value is we are in a generation that is beginning to shed light on the fact that women from the beginning of time have been tough. In a lot of circumstances, I think we are more stronger than men, quite frankly, because we have all these triple obstacles against us. So it's just really nice to, to be with a network and a show and a room of native writers that honor that. And, and then that goes, goes back traditionally to our roots um, where we did really honor our women uh, before colonization and everything came in, you know? So I think if anything, we're just taking it back to our roots and, uh, you know, and um, that aside, I just wanted to say too, I opened up the first Native Film and Stunt Combat Academy in the world on Treaty 6, just outside of Calgary with the Siksika Nation in partnership with the Old Sun College with my co-founding partner, Julian Black Antelope, another amazing Indigenous Native actor who really backs and supports women. So what we're doing there is we're just continuing to uplift our, our women, our girls, our young men, um, and, um, yeah, we just, this is the time for them to rise. And I hope that I'm just continuously a part of that change. And, and um, I honestly feel like I'm just a somewhat of a vessel for that change so that our generations can continue to heal. And, and again, it's not, it's not so much about just indigenous culture either. You know, we need our non-indigenous people to help uplift us. I'm only here today because non-native people gave me a chance. You know, so again, I, I just want to reiterate, it's about people, human beings walking hand in hand with each other. Well, thank you very much. Uh, good luck with the series. I have yeah, thank you. I have watched all the episodes. Did you? Yeah. What did you think? I was very impressed. I, I'm looking forward to season two. I don't know if that'll be darker winds or, or whatever, but uh, <laughs> I, I kind of got the, the impression of, you know, Avengers are assembling here with the three of you. So I look forward to uh, your future adventures. Thank you. Well, that's a great compliment. So thank you so much. Bye now. Bye.